So I'm playing Creon. He is the brother of Oedipus's wife. Um, spoiler alert, it's also his mother. Um, so I guess that kind of makes me his uncle, de facto uncle. He's also the leader of the uh, military of Thebes, whatever size military they really have. They're on hard times, so I don't know if they've really got one. They're just trying to keep everything together and make their way through a plague and, and stay together as a community. Well, I'm there in the beginning, I'm there in the middle, and I'm there in the end, um, where all the major plot points actually occur, occur. I kind of, I feel like I'm the first guy that when I get out there, I'm the first one to get yelled at and feel the wrath of the king and kind of show that his madness is coming. Um, in the middle, I'm there just to kind of give a, more of a political, more of a, I think I speak for the people mostly when I go out there, even though I'm speaking for myself as, a, as Creon, but everyone's feeling the, the burden of this this once great king that's now gone mad and is now holding up his end of the bargain. And at the end is uh, when I come in and I think uh, it just it just I help bring the end to it and help bring a transition of what's to come next um, for the, the city. We're gonna try to take you back into Greece as much as we can in a local environment. We're going to have, have a road, you know, where somebody would normally walk to go up and get into their seats. We're gonna have a road. That's the one that I travel a lot. A lot of characters are actually going to travel. We're gonna have uh, big palace doors, gigantic palace doors to give the effect of, you know, how great this kingdom once used to be. Uh, we're going to have a, a busy street at the, at the base of the palace of people just sitting around doing their daily, their daily work, interacting with one another, doing rituals to the gods. Um, we're trying to recreate as authentic of a feel as we can for the environment at that time. There's a lot of political intrigue, a lot of soap opera, telenovela kind of environment to it. But at the same time, it's, it's something that um, people have been struggling with for as long as humanity has existed. A lot of philosophical questions, questions about fate and determining your fate and, and everything else that's involved with that. So I hope that we, we are able to just go out there, put on a really great show, show that range of emotion, maybe get, you know, impact people in a way that they can relate to things they've experienced in their life and make them actually ask those questions themselves as well. My son uh, does theater at the Anderson Middle School with uh, SSCYA with Nancy Hill and um, she is retiring as everyone knows so uh, my son was very depressed and brought down by that because he felt like he wasn't going to have any more you know have that outlet anymore at the school so um, he was invited to come to the auditions um, in, was it June, I think, uh, for Axiom, and uh, he chickened out at the last minute. So I told him, because there's going to be a lot of adults there, and he's a teenager, and he didn't really feel like he had a chance or, any, you know, that he had the experience that he needed. So I told him, hey, I'll do it with you, because I like to just pretend I act at home. Um, I like to sing when I walk around. So honestly, I thought I was going to show up to the rehearsal, the auditions, see maybe about 25, 30 people and just, you know, go home and not actually get any role whatsoever. I didn't really, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I didn't really take it very seriously at all. So I, I learned some lines, uh, some bits of a song, showed up. Um, the whole place was jam packed with people of all ages. A lot of people looked like nervous wrecks. Some people were crying. Nobody was talking to each other. I felt like I was at a funeral. Uh, I asked my son, is this the way it is? Because I'm normally happy, I'm joking, I'm laughing, nobody wanted to talk to me. And then I go into this room and I feel like I'm on uh, American Idol. There's all these people sitting in rows of tables and I'm like, oh my God, what am I, what am I doing? And then all the things I practiced just left my mind. And so I just stumbled my way through it, did the best I could and then just kept being asked to do more. And then I went through the reading experience and I was like, wow, I never realized. So I learned a lot and it made me appreciate what people do to put on something like this, the amount of people that it takes, the amount of time it takes, the amount of thought that goes into it. It's not just as simple as reading it and saying, okay, this is what the character is, and then reading the lines with that kind of an attitude or voice. It's so much more in depth. So uh, I still don't have any expectations. I just, I just want to learn, and I love everybody that's giving me the time, because that's time is more valuable than anything in the world. So that, that means a lot to me. So I'm just going to roll with it. See how it goes? Don't miss out. Come to Axiom to watch Oedipus. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> see, it's a, it left my mind. Come see Oedipus at Axiom Repertory Theater.